Here I'm going to show you the best keyboard shortcut for working with VBA and macros in Excel. It will definitely make you a better programmer and save you a lot of time. And the macro that you see here is taken from my premium VBA course, so if you want to know more about that, check the link in the description of the video. So one of the many millions of problems with this editor is that when you start typing a variable name, it's not going to automatically fill it in for you or give you a list of options. The IntelliSense menu isn't going to show up, so I can't just hit tab here and have it automatically fill in. But there is one way to make life a little bit easier. Watch what happens when I hit control space right now. It automatically filled in my range for the variable, my range right up here. Now let's try it out with another one. How about my array control space my array all right so you can kind of get it to fill in just like that and how it works is like this when you declare your variables at the top of your macro it kind of adds them to the intellisense options that you have and one way to access the intellisense options is control space it's not really options, but it's all of the things that you can basically put in here for methods and functions and variables. So I hit control space right now, and it gives me this big, huge list of stuff. And included in this stuff is my variable name now. So I start to type my range, and you can see it even starts to fill in right there. So I can hit the tab key and have it fill in all the way. Now you can do it that way, where you do control space first, and then you start typing, but I don't think it is as quick or useful as if you just click this and control space. So when you're in the middle of typing something, it will try to figure out what you're trying to type. And if it can figure that out, it will auto fill it in if it cannot. So let's say we go to array rows, but I'm at array right now and I do control space. It doesn't know exactly what I want, so it gives me a bunch of options here. Rows, columns, what do you want? Click the option or go down to it and hit tab and it will fill in. So let's redo this line right here, but using that method. So set my range equals selection. It didn't know what I wanted there, so I'm typing it now. Tab, there we go. That way I can ensure that I did not misspell anything and it just makes it much faster to type everything into the editor here. Also, if you are not a fan of Option Explicit, as I am not a fan of Option Explicit, then this makes your life much easier. You don't have to worry about that ridiculous notion of not misspelling your variables. Declare the variables you want to use up here, and then you can control space input them down here like I just did, then you're not going to misspell anything. And if you want to very quickly do a little test loop without declaring variables, then you can do that because you don't have Option Explicit at the top. There are other shortcuts that you can use in this editor, but I find that the one that I always keep coming back to and using almost every time I make a macro is the control space shortcut. So don't forget it, add it to your toolbox and use it as often as you can. And don't forget, if you want to use it for variables, you have to declare them at the top of your macro first. So once they are declared, then you can access them with the IntelliSense menu below. And this macro right here is taken from my premium VBA course. And this specific one, I'm going to show you how to handle single cell selection for range inputs for arrays. So a very exciting little topic. It's actually a great macro that I show you how to build here. So if you are interested in VBA and macros, give this course a look and you'll see a link to it in the description of the video.